practices and things of that nature. But I, I view the rest of our schedule the way I view the season, uh, especially in the West. All the teams are tough, and a lot of our games are on the road. So that, that, that's the thing that brings me back to Chris focus on tomorrow. Because if I start thinking about that too much, I'm like wasting time, and <clears throat> I don't want to waste time when I can focus on what we got to do to get better tomorrow and get ready for our next game. But our, our schedule is uh, tough, but it's been tough. I mean, we had seven and ten. And uh, a few of those games without some of our key guys, and we fared okay. So our, our guys have the confidence and the experience now to go out on the road, to play well at home, uh, and compete. And that, that's, that's all you can ask for. And, you know, the schedule is what it is. You know, we prepare to get through a schedule like we have uh, to be successful. Now we just have to go out there and do it. What effect has being in a playoff race done for this team? And what is it also taught them? I'm not sure. I mean, I, I, you would have to talk to our guys. For me, nothing's changed. I mean, that, that's the thing that I've, I've said from day one. We want to always practice, plan, prepare as if we were getting ready for a championship game. And we always felt like if we work that way, we don't have to change. We can make our adjustments along the way. So for us as a staff and for me as the head coach, this is how we're going to work. We're going to approach every day like it's game day, game seven in the finals. That's just the way we work. And um, it can be exhausting at times, but you know, we like that. Uh, for our players, it could be a bit different because some of those guys have never been in situations like this before. So I'm sure it's a bit different. I'm sure they're experiencing uh, some different emotions.